Korean CDC, Coronavirus Repositive Patients Not Infectious Scientists for the Korean Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have found that COVID-19 survivors who tested positive for the coronavirus after recovery were not infectious. The scientists came to this conclusion after studying 285 coronavirus patients who had recovered from COVID-19 but tested positive after already testing negative for the virus. Virus samples taken from the repositive patients could not be grown in culture and the patients themselves were not observed to have infected others. In their report published on May 18, the researchers said that patients must have been shedding dead or non-infectious virus particles. This is great news for areas planning to ease coronavirus restrictions and relax physical distancing measures. In a world where millions of people have caught the novel coronavirus, there seems to be no evidence that those who have recovered can spread it to others. As a result of the Korean CDC study, South Korean health authorities will now stop considering patients infectious even after recovering from COVID-19. Bloomberg reports recent research had shown that polymerase chain reaction or PCR tests for the virus's nucleic acid could not tell the difference between viable and dead virus particles. The test added to fears that patients could still be infectious after recovery. South Korea has now revised their coronavirus protocols to allow patients who have recovered and completed their time in isolation to return to work or school. They will no longer have to test negative for the coronavirus. The Korean CDC wrote, under the new protocols, no additional tests are required for cases that have been discharged from isolation. Any patient who has recovered from COVID-19 but tested positive will be referred to as PCR redetected after discharge from isolation, not repositive. It is not uncommon for a coronavirus patient to test positive again for the coronavirus, with some even testing positive 82 days after initial infection. However, most of the patients whose blood was tested also had antibodies against the virus. In the U.S., the CDC mandates that patients must show an improvement in symptoms and must be fever-free without taking fever-reducing medication for three consecutive days before being classified as recovered. All of this should happen at least seven days after the patients start exhibiting symptoms. The patients also have to test negative for the virus twice and at least 24 hours apart.